Hello, this is Jason from TechSavvyTeacher.com, and today we're looking at the whiteboard system from Splashtop, which is an iPad plus desktop laptop environment that allows you to remotely control a computer from a mobile device like an iPad, and then also it has an application, a really inexpensive application, that allows you to create what is actually an interactive whiteboard. So um, I've downloaded the Splashtop streamer onto my desktop and installed that particular application. It is a free application and then you can purchase either the remote control apps or the interactive whiteboard apps for under ten dollars um, in the Apple App Store and I would recommend um, both of these applications as extremely inexpensive wonderful ways um, to create an interactive whiteboard environment. Um, today I'm using three pieces of equipment. I'm on, I'm on my MacBook Pro. I've got my iPad 1 with me, which is what I'm going to be using today for the interactive whiteboard features. And then I have also have a BoxWave stylus. Um, I'm generally not a stylus person I'm on the iPad platform, but I have found that when I'm doing any interactive whiteboard, my finger works fine, but it's better if I have access to a stylus. Um, I do like the BoxWave stylus. It's $10 on Amazon.com, and unlike the you know, 50 cent, one dollar stylus uh, packages that you can buy that are great throwaway stylus. This one's a little higher quality and I find it a little easier to use. So I've brought up just a, a random PowerPoint on my screen to kind of show off what this feature looks like, but um, I have the application loaded. There's a security protocol to where you actually talk over a wireless network. So if you um, want to uh, add a security code to your computer, it's recommended that you do so from Splashtop. But to get the interactive whiteboard features, it's literally as easy as pressing one button, which brings up, you'll notice, a toolbar on the top of the screen and gives me the ability to draw on that screen. Um, if I had any criticism of the drawing, it's, it's probably twofold. First, unlike some of the great drawing applications on the iPad, you'll notice that it's a little rougher of lines. They don't smooth things out. I know the Adobe Ideas app, for example, um, it looks really smooth with writing because it, it, it puts the um, input through some logarithm that smooths out the line. So it's a little rough, and when you're drawing, it's not necessarily as clean or as fluid as a traditional marker on a whiteboard. Um, and I guess my second criticism would be that it shows up um, a little later on the screen on your iPad. So if you're relying on that for um, seeing where you've written, it's sometimes a little harder to do so. So in that way, it's kind of like a um, one of the drawing slates, um, like a bamboo slate, um, because you can't necessarily see in real time what's happening to your screen. Um, there are a lot of really great drawing features, um, not unlike the other interactive whiteboard systems, but if you, um, you know, want to draw circles, it's easy to do so, or shapes, or if you want to add um, shapes like instant check marks, it's easy to do so. Um, I also like the feature that it allows you to take screenshots. So, for example, if you were a math instructor that was working on a series of problems and they were in a digital textbook, you could go through and take screenshots of those and then review those through the system. And there's also a place where there is a flip chart background system. So if you want to you know, work on the blank screen as opposed to working with um, your screen background, it's really easy to bring up, for example, this lined paper or grid system, or different types of idea diagrams. So I think that's a pretty neat feature that I think is relatively useful. Um, the drawing itself is is pretty fluid. Um, I was able to be able to smoothly draw um, really quickly um, without uh, much learning curve. Um, and it's really easy to clear screens off um, if you're interested in, in doing that particular prospect. So it's easy to flip back and forth from interactive whiteboard mode to just regular mouse mode and it's easy to then control your computer remotely so if you're using a PowerPoint for example or if you want to flip through web pages it's easy to do so I could see it'd be extremely easy to hand off the iPad to a student in a classroom and in my mind it's also extremely easy to run um, like a PowerPoint or any kind of presentation software doing this um, for example here I'm gonna get rid of my previous text here. Here's a blank screen on a PowerPoint and if I were flipping through it, it would be really easy for me to do so. I could flip from screen to screen and then easily bring up the additional pieces and then draw on my PowerPoint to add um, different aspects to it or if I wanted to create um, any pieces 
um, to augment the PowerPoint. Um, I think this would be incredibly useful um, if you were a presenter and spend a lot of time, what I like to call telestrating, you know, kind of like the, the uh, sports commentators do, I think you could easily do that. So again, this is Splashtop. Um, the actual application is free um, at the Splashtop website. I'll put links up on the TechSavvy Teacher blog. And the apps themselves are really cheap, 5 to $10. There's a, an iPhone remote control app that's really um, interesting. There is this particular app, which is the whiteboard app. And then there's just a general remote control app. And there's also another app, which I may review elsewhere, that is a kind of a flash browser that allows you to essentially bring up a browser from another computer on your iPad and do things like play flash animation. So really cool system for next to nothing. And I recommend it for those of you that are looking to become more tech-savvy teachers. So until next time, thanks. Thanks.